Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to spot a phishing email. Um, first we'll start with, uh, you know, what's the difference between spam and phishing, and then we'll go into a couple of things that you can look for in a spam email. Uh, so first, you know, what is the difference between spam and phishing? Uh, so spam emails, uh, they're pretty much the equivalent to unwanted, uh, unsolicited junk email uh, that you might receive in your mailbox. Uh, you're often part of a mass distribution list or, you know, there's a lot of people getting these same emails and it's a communication in order to try to maybe uh, sell you something. Um, however, it's typically not intended to be uh, directly uh, harmful or directly malicious to you. Um, although, you know, if you do reply, uh, they still can uh, sell personal information uh, if you agree to it. Now, phishing, on the other hand, uh, it's much more malicious. Uh, phishing is a type of online scam uh, where cyber uh, criminals, they send emails uh, that appear to be from legitimate sources. Uh, they're usually asking you for sensitive data. Uh, this could be login credentials, credit card numbers, uh, personal identification numbers, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, the main purpose of phishing emails is to trick uh, the receiver into believing that the message is something that they uh, want, that they need, or that they you know, they need to answer it quickly. Uh, it could be something like a request from a bank, a note from someone uh, in the company, and, uh, you know, it would lead to disclosing uh, information by mistake. Uh, so in essence, while both spam and phishing emails are unsolicited and undesired, the key differences lies in the intention behind them. Uh, spam aims to advertise while phishing aims to deceive and extract valuable personal information. Um, so now, uh, what are the things that you want to look for in a spam email? So on the screen, you'll see that I have a actual spam email. Um, now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to check the email sender. So this is claiming to have come from Geek Squad. Uh, however, you can see that there is a Gmail that is sending it out. Um, 99% of the time, unless it's a small mom and pop business, uh, you're going to see a customized domain, whether this be, you know, since this is from Geek Squad, whether it be Best Buy, uh, Geek Squad, um, you know, a, a company like that. So coming from a Gmail, it is already a, you know, pretty great indicator that this is, a, you know, a spam or sorry, a phishing email. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. Uh, so, you know, this is an unexpected email, um, which is the next thing. So if it's unexpected, you didn't expect it, uh, it's another sign that it's probably spam. So, you know, Dropbox, anything like that that you're receiving, uh, you wanna make sure first check the sender, but two, you know, was this requested? Have I ever reached out to Geek Squad for help? Um, no, I haven't. So I, I know right there that this is probably already malicious. Now, one of the things that you can do uh, you can actually reach out to Geek Squad, uh, not through this phone number right here, but by Googling Geek Squad's information or Drop Suite's information to actually find out uh, if that information is, um, you know, if it's real. So, you know, don't call directly here if you receive an email like this. Call uh, Geek Squad or the company like that. Now, the next thing you want to look for is poor grammar and spelling. Uh, so you'll see in the email, we're going we're gonna to see a couple of things here. Um, so the first one that I saw was this one. No one stand behind you like Geek Squad. So already we can see that that is grammatically incorrect. Uh, there was several other ones that are in the email, uh, but you know I think that one is probably uh, the biggest right off the bat. Uh, you know Mac not being capitalized, Windows not being window not being capitalized, not having the S, uh, that kind of thing all poor grammar and spelling and uh you know something that you wouldn't see if this were an official correspondence the next thing to look for is suspicious links and attachments so off of the bat this doesn't look to have any links you know but if i hover over this you see that it turns from a regular mouse to a click and it gives you three options download add to drive and save to photos so let's actually do an inspection. So right click and go down to inspection. And whenever we hover over this, we can actually see that this image source is from 
mail.google.com and it's coming from this uh, key right here. We could go in and actually inspect this, but um, you know, for the purposes of the video, that you know, there's just not real a reason just because a lot of people they're not going to have the ability to do um, you know that kind of in-depth analysis. Uh, the next thing is um, urgency. So we'll see here that the billing date was set for today. Uh, we see that the order status was successful, payment status successful. So that's automatically going to scare you that you have a $400, um, you know, a $400 payment coming out of your pocket. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're, you know, keeping these things uh, in mind that this is, you know, trying to deceive you and trying to get you to do these things with, because it's making you have that urgency, that fear of loss. You have the the urgency, the fear of loss of $400. So it's, it's making you want to act irrationally by calling this number or clicking to download. So, uh, you know, there you have it. Uh, there's five key signs to spotting a phishing attack. Uh, remember when it comes to your digital security and staying informed and vigilant, um, you know, vigilance is your best defense. Stay safe, make sure to share this information with others, make sure to like and follow and have a great day.